Good morning, it's Taylor. It is a Sunday morning. Just got back from a hike out at Bishop Ranch, one of my favorite little areas. It's very picturesque. Bishop, Bishop Ranch Preserve or something like that. Anyways, one of my husband and <laughs> we had kind of, you know, discussion on the way home because um, we have very differing political views. So this is called A Therapeutic Pour. I already mixed my stuff. I pre-mix a lot of my my uh, paints just like a lot of people do and this is going to be Floetrol probably in water and then I'm going to add silicon lots of silicon I'm going to try a swipe I'm not very good at swipes or I'm inter I don't anyways it doesn't matter so I'm going to go ahead and um, load it up with silicon I'm not going to do just a few drops I'm going to do like um, Rick Cheadle I see him he's just putting it in there and getting crazy cells so I thought oh I'll try it needless to say my colors today are black and white and um, it just seems appropriate <laughs> for the morning discussion. It was such a beautiful morning. Anyways, you know how that goes, whether you have children or spousal units or, you know, people you encounter or wish you never encountered, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, I, I was saying to my husband on the way in the door, we need to stop talking about this. People get divorced over this. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's uh, very, very true. And it sucks that uh, people hold their politics in higher regard and higher relevance and importance than um, their relationships. It's really not sh how it should go. You should just drop the politics at the door. I'm neither, I'm not a political backer on the national scale. I will be careful who I vote for locally. And I think that your city councils, your county councils, much more going to affect you personally and directly and cost you, therefore, um, than the larger government. They're another story into themselves. I pay attention to legislation locally, um, but as long as the electoral, electoral college is making our decisions, do they really matter? So let's see, we've got honey-like effect, honey-like porridge. I'm optimistic that'll be a good thing. Um, well, am I going to swipe black or white? Well, I'm probably going to try to intermix them. The whole theory behind this is balance. <laughs> Emotional, political, whatever balance you need. Financial. I'm probably going to go ahead and put even more silicon in there just because I want it to really interact. Will white win or will black win? doesn't matter. Like the, ultimately, they'll turn into gray. So, do do do. More silicon. Silicone. Whatever. Don't know why I say certain words the way I do. Just the way it is. Habits we pick up. Okay, don't stir the silicon. Oh, silicone. If I don't, though, it'll end up landing on this throwaway canvas I have here first, and then you'll see through to the canvas, which is, isn't really what I want either. I guess we're going to have to stir anyway. It'll all glop together, like comes to like, when it's actually on the canvas. Just cut that in there, or fold it in if you're into baking. Yes, that's a nice honey, honey-like consistency. It'll move fairly quickly down the board. I've got this board I got from Hobby, Hobby, I think, or Michael's. Anyways, I got these silly boards thinking, oh, these will be really cool. Then I painted them, and they warped, so, and they split. So I wasn't real impressed, so this is a sacrificial canvas. So I'm going to alternate my black and white colors. Maybe do a spiral. In the California homage to hippie dumb, do a spiral. And we have to have some outside, some inside. We want to get a. Okay, nothing's. This isn't much of a plan for, but it's as close as I'm going to get on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Tomorrow I start a temp job. Woot! You know, still got to pay the bills. And although I fled a psychotic in, uh, working environment, that doesn't, unfortunately, pay the bills. Oh, goodness, the way I've done well, that's fine. Don't think too hard. Just do... Without darkness, we cannot have light. Without light, darkness, bippity-boppity, everything's connected. Although not everybody believes that. <laughs> 
No man is an island. Compartmentalizing only takes you so far. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Hmm. You know, I say interesting after that uh, cartoon character on Saturday morning. So many of us of a certain age used to watch an interesting haircut for an interesting person such as yourself. Okay, well I don't really want to make this as equal as possible. Yeah, okay. Just like life, it's equality. Doesn't always pan out the way we optimistically would hope it would. But we do what we can where we can, how we can, and we create our realities. We create other people's realities or well they yeah, okay, we're not going to get that hippy-dippy this morning. It is Sunday, but this is not church. Come on, come on out. Just mindlessly pouring today. Should definitely have more than enough, so I'm going to have leftovers, but I guess I'll put it in the black cup. That makes sense. My leftovers will go into the black cup. Swiping. Hmm. Okay, I'll just ice it like a cake. Oops. You can tell I don't do cakes very well either. I think I'm going to let it squash about. Well, I'm getting a little bit of cell action. Nothing. Well, it looks like it'll slowly develop. I see some of the silicon ended up directly on the uh, the base, and when that happens, oops, it'll go straight through. I don't know if it's going to move. Oh, it's going to move all right. Any and all, I should probably try this way because we seem to have more cell development over here. So we want to stretch those down and around since they seem to be the happy campers. I'm trying to salvage as much paint as I can. Trying to minimize my wastage. I hope you cannot hear my music. So again, I didn't turn it off or down. I think that whole thing is incredible. Mm -hmm. We are getting a lot of cell, cell action. Let's see, I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. Again, patience. We can have grasshopper. Mm -hmm. Oops, I can't hum my song because if I hum it, then everyone knows what I'm listening to. I'll have to pay somebody somewhere like 50 grand. I don't have. I heard about that blogger who uh, got popped on copyright. She had a picture up for like five minutes. The dude was like on her, like, a, you know, flies on stuff. And she immediately, within like another five minutes of getting the cease and desist, took it down. <laughs> okay, a year later and $50,000 that she didn't have. I think the guy just probably had it set up so he could uh, hit bloggers. And she wasn't a profiting blog. She wasn't an affiliate blogger. She was just a lifestyle blogger, so to stay. I think now she has become... I think she actually wrote other blogs about copywriting. <laughs> that's one way to kind of recoup that damage. Well, that's interesting. I wanted it to be a little more interesting, and it's definitely looks like the black is taking over, which, yeah, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to be political. I should have used orange. I'm sorry. I went there. I went there. The tragedy. Oh, the humanity. Kind of reminds me of a topographical or an aerial of a riverbed going through the oak. Covered hills of California in black and white. It's so funny. California is going to be completely brown. So if you come to California looking for green hills in the summertime, yeah, about that. We are green in the winter and we are brown from about, well, usually April, May on. Where's that white? I don't trust. It looks like white is fighting to come through now. Um, and people have, you know, I went to Virginia in the summertime. I'm like, everything's green why is it green and people looked at me like i was crazy because <laughs> they didn't know california is brown in the summertime um we're we're a semi-arid 
environment except for the coastlines and the coastlines are oh, there's are they green yeah i guess they're still a little bit green right now um but we get a lot of fog on the coast in the summer so if you're thinking you're going to go to northern california beach and be all lounging in the sun you've got another thing coming just bring your warm cozy mittens and your hat and expect wind and then there are days when it's 100 or 110 inland it's going to be 80s 90s out at the coast look at that it's awesome and those are the days you do take your shorts to the beach and every other Californian is going to be out there with you so you might actually meet some natives we're few we're far between but most of us are friendly and don't have New York accents or a Texan accents <coughs> or Portland accents we're hard to find we got priced out of the market just like Portland and Texas and <laughs> anyway so here is my black and white therapeutic pour of the day I think it's pretty therapeutic. I probably, why don't I just take the torch to it? So, ah. torch, where are you? <clears throat> Let's torch this beastie. It's gonna probably get pretty busy if I torch it, but I might be able to bring out some interesting light in here if I do. Me and my torches, what the deal, I don't know. So bring out some interest right in there maybe. And then pop some bubbles. I always kind of go this way to pop bubbles. I'm trying not to pull cells this way. I'm just trying to pop bubbles, but notice I pulled a few little buggers anyways. For me, I try to be strategic about my torching. Because I want to bring out more little white bits. Eh, it's probably better as a river, huh? Okay, step away from the canvas. This, then I can't. <laughs> Me and everybody else. Step away from the canvas. Okay. I have torched. I am complete. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Again, it was one part uh, paint to, uh, I believe, one part Floetrol, water to honey consistency, black and white, tons of silicone, cone, silicone spray. I use this stuff, WD-40 specialist. I don't know where treadmill is. Haven't gotten there yet. This will probably last me like five years at this rate, so who cares? It's all good. Um, getting lots of cells though. So, uh, was it Rick or yeah, Rick Cheadle? He's to uh, credit for giving me the courage to super siliconize my thingy. Um, now I'm probably going to use my Cricut and make a make some letters that say balance, and then put oil on them, and then put them on the other one, and then do a black and white pour over another one of these. So you can mix all kinds of different mediums. Um, so it should be interesting. So I have to figure out how I'm going to do make that a resist and what color I'm going to have behind it to say balance. Maybe I'll make it bright purple or something. I don't know. Anyways, have a great day. Thank you for dropping by. Bye-bye again. Taylor, checking out.